All right, hello once again, YouTubers. This is Even Ball, and it is Thursday, November thirteenth, two thousand fourteen, and I got another batch of games for you. So let's get right to it. All right, well, first up is Rygar for the PS two, uh, two dollars. Uh, not very bad, and it's in excellent shape. In fact, everything is pretty much in mint condition, and every looks like everything's everything's included in the package. So that's that's really great. Uh, game is uh, a lot of fun, actually. It plays a lot like God of War, uh, only a little bit before God of War, so uh, it's not quite as refined, but it is actually very, very good, and I'm enjoying it quite a bit, and the music is fantastic. One funny thing I've noticed, though, look at the difference between the cover and the, and the manual. Two very, very different artists working on these. Very, very strange. Also, there's a nice lenticular... Uh, little extra in there. Pretty nice little poster. Alright, so I also got a couple of Dreamcast games this week. Starting off with Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver. It's only $2 and uh, hopefully I can understand this one a little bit more than Defiance that I got uh, a while back. Uh, I don't know too much about the Legacy of Cain games, but uh, it looks pretty interesting. I also got this one that's a little more expensive called Tech Romancer from Capcom. I've never seen this one out in the wild before. It's 20 bucks, but on eBay and such, it actually goes for much more. Even with just a di just a disc, it's about forty dollars. So it's a it's a fighting game with mechs, basically, and it looks pretty good. All right. Along with that, I also got some other games. Well, and some other things that uh, came straight out of the bin. So first off, I have Fade to Black. This is uh, complete in the box. And this came right out of the uh, large grab bin that they have at Goodwill Outlet. It's only $0.10. Cents. Pretty good deal. I also got this Game Boy Advance SP. And the screen is uh, in pretty good shape. Although it's a uh, 001 Game Boy Advance SP, so it's a front lip version. And there's no battery. But I put a battery into it and it boots up and works fine with uh, with the battery, although there's no sound, so I guess there is an issue that I could have to fix. But I do fix game systems on occasion. I've also got this GameCube, and it's got all the uh, covers on it, and I've tested it, I cleaned it and tested it, and it works fine. And it's only about 50 cents. And I got this N64, and as you can see, it's got the expansion module right in there. And uh, this one also works fine. I've cleaned it on the inside and outside and uh, works great. So from some regular Goodwills, I found just an expansion pack all alone. This one is only $3. These expansion packs, you always need these for N64s. I have a few scrap N64s that could use one, so that's great to find one for less than 20 bucks. And I also got this uh, link cable the Game Boy Advance link cable. It's always good to find one of these. This is also just $3. Okay, I also went to a liquidation center and they were having a sale this week. Well, they were having a sale last weekend for 50% off, so I got some things last weekend as well as this week. So first off, I got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory for the GameCube. It's $2 in pretty good condition. I also got Over the Hedge for the GameCube and it was also $2. A good deal. I also got another copy of Simpsons Hit and Run. This is uh, two dollars and fifty cents, and this is pretty much a mint condition copy. And I also got a sealed copy of Super Paper Mario for the Wii. And uh, I'll open this up and and give it a play. I haven't given it a, a shot yet, but I'll do, do that pretty soon. Oh yes, and I also got back there this weekend and I grabbed a couple more games for 50 cents each. First one is Dead or Alive 3 for the Xbox. Yeah, I didn't have this one already. Uh, nice glowing review there from Nguy Kroll. I, uh, I wouldn't say that DOA 3 is the future, but uh, whatever. And the next one is GoldenEye Rogue Agent. This is in fair condition, but it's also 50 cents, so not much lost there. Alright, I got a couple of Genesis games this week. So the first one is The Humans, which is a nice little puzzle game. 
not too special, but uh, somewhat fun. And the next one is Battle Master from Arena, which is basically a claim, and uh, it's a Western-style RPG, just like the uh, fairy tale adventure. Except this one's more hack and slash, so it uh, should be somewhat fun. All right, and finally this week, the last thing I got were a couple of Sony PVMs. These are a special t kind of TV that a lot of gamers are looking for. Uh, these were 14-inch ones, and they were both $5 each at a uh, local online auction. So I decided to go in with it, and I was the only bidder on these two, so I got them for the minimum. It's a really good deal. These are really, really sought after because they take RGB and component. So um, you can do either RGB or component on these if you have a special adapter. So uh, I'll be looking to get some of those and, uh, and I'll be gaming on these and checking them out. Okay, that's all for this week. Thanks for watching.